mailbag time again in the lab. First up, I got some batteries. These I just bought from Amazon. These are for my quadcopters. I'm back into flying some FPV quadcopters again now that the weather's getting better. And my old Hobby King 1300 milliamp hour lipos are just about shot. And my uh, new X215 Pro is pretty rough on batteries. So I replenished my supply. These are a good name brand. The Tattoo batteries are solid. They're, they're simply fantastic. My two that I had before are still perfectly functional. They come, they just feel good and they just work so i got three of those they are a little pricey but you can't go wrong i actually bought this from amazon as well i got myself an ammo tin I actually got two of them i have never had uh, a good ammo box to use to put uh, my lipos in when they're not in use particularly all the lipos over the winter i've put them in a safe place but this is going to be even safer next up we got some AT Tiny 85s, I believe. Sure enough, AT Tiny 85 microprocessors and some little daughter boards uh, to use as a programmer. So it has a USB port, it has uh, some passives on board. Nice little breakout. I think I'm going to like this. Next up, we got a whole bunch of screws. These are all stainless steel hardware that I just picked up from eBay. Self-tapping machine style screws. Here is the labeling on them. They're all M3, I think, and just various lengths and various quantities. So A2 stainless, if they are really stainless, should be good stuff. Nice long, I got a uh, pan head and the other style, these uh, recessed, I always forget what they're called. Moral of the story. When you're buying replacement cutting mats, make sure you double check the size. Those, not the right size for my bench. So I already picked up this one from Amazon because I burnt the last one. And I don't know what we're going to use these for, but uh, they're quite small. Uh, we maybe use them out uh, in the studio when I'm doing cleaning up 3D prints and stuff. We can put these down on the bench. Next up, we got some OLEDs. Always wanted to give these a try. These are a spiffy looking little OLED screen. I squared C, which makes it nice on the pins. We just have SDA, SEL, and power and ground. And a nifty little OLED screen. I think this is gonna be really handy for some small projects where you just need a little display, a little human machine interface, with say just a button or an encoder. We can make a nifty little menu and the size of it, absolutely tiny, fantastic. Replacement parts for my Creality CR10 3D printer. This is a complete replacement hot end. I was having problems with my hot end and I thought, well, one way to get around it would be to go with a complete replacement. These things are pretty price reasonable nowadays. Uh, this is an interesting design. The original CR10 goes all the way back to the power supply and what they've done is they've just put a connector, which should have been there to begin with on the printer in my opinion and then they give you the connectors that you can cut and splice the existing wires and there's the pins so you can make your own connector and then forevermore this style will be replaceable a direct fit right on there so nothing to it nothing too crazy but uh, yeah handy i don't know why they give you a pair of needle nose but heck the price was right this was from amazon i do believe i have these in my uh recommended products link down below in the description if you guys have checked that out let me know in the comments see if you uh, let me know if you've gone over and seen the all the components that i recommend and stuff that i use next up we got a nifty little oscilloscope this is uh, a portable uh battery powered uh, not internal but capable of battery powered uh full function little oscilloscope not the best oscilloscope by far but i love the fact that it comes in a package all with a nice case everything you don't need to assemble much so we're going to give it a try i think this is going to be fun we'll put it up against the the rigel again i know it's not going to be the best but for someone just getting into the hobby i think this might be a viable option Next up, we got, I believe, I 
believe this is a frequency generator or a function arbitrary waveform generator kit. Yeah, it's the XR2206 function generator and it does come as a kit with all the components and a nifty little uh, acrylic case for it. Now, as you know, I already have the FeelTech unit I reviewed not that long ago. So I'm not sure whether we'll build this up and maybe give it away or build it up, test it. I think it would make for an interesting giveaway or maybe a giveaway just as it sits. I've got to think on that. Actually, let me know what you think. Throw it in the comments down below. Do you think I should give that away? I think that would make a good giveaway. If you could use one of those, let me know. So I got some replacement tips for my WEP soldering iron. Here's a whole assortment of which I'm only gonna use one or two, but the whole assortment is quite cheap. And it comes with all kinds of strange ones. Very interesting, um, 45 degree angle conicals, and then some big wedge styles, all kinds of stuff. So yeah, we'll give them a go. Next up, side cutters, nothing to it. I am always in need of a little pair of side cutters. I have one at each 3D printer, and then I have them in my kind of tool bags that I go around, but I can never have enough of these. So these were quite cheap on eBay. Actually, they're also quite cheap on Amazon and they're fantastic quality, super sharp. I don't know how the durability is, but if we go easy on them, it should be fine. Model 170 called Shears. Spare batteries, CR2032 lithium batteries. I got some holders somewhere for these. And when I went on eBay, I found that you could just pick up a huge quantity of these 2032s for like AT Tiny 85 or ESP 8266 projects. Dirt cheap, whole assortment. They go in the bin. Now I don't have to go searching for them when I need one. Another kit. This is an oscilloscope kit comes with the SMD soldering already done. It's a DSO138 is the board and model number. Comes with some instructions and components. Maybe we'll build this up as a, as a weekend build on some rainy day or something and do a live show as we build that up. I'm not sure. Handy dandy. Next up are the battery holders for the CR2032 coin cells. So with these little holders, it has an on off switch on it and you just slide the battery in there and we have an output terminal handy dandy. That might be uh, might be cool for some very small AT tiny projects or ESP8266 projects. Guys, throw a thumbs up on this video if you like what I'm doing here, if you like the content, if you like these kind of silly projects, I truly appreciate it. Love hearing from you guys. Throw a comment down below and I will see you guys next video. Cheers.